testing the Z-Space machine, um, just kind of to see what it does, what it can do. Um, we're trying to see if it's going to fit into some of our curriculum. Uh, it's an exciting device, it's fun. Um, we're trying to figure out how we can kind of mold it into the SM's curriculum and find ways to use it in and out of the classroom. So is there an estimated time when we're um, well, you know, we'll make a decision probably going into the summer for next school year. Um, the question really comes down to is where we can find efficient ways to use it. Uh, because they are a little expensive, um, the question will kind of come down to can we get a couple of them in a classroom as a set? Um, we're also thinking forward as we look into getting maker space for the school, maybe somewhere where we can kind of have them out and available in places like the library or the commons where kids could just sit and use them and maybe do whatever they want on them um, and hopefully pique some interest that way. Mm -hmm. And like, what is it? What is the machine itself? Yeah, um, man, it, 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 the complicated answer, it's really a Windows 10 computer that has some special software on there. You have glasses and it actually has a bezel with some head tracking and some other things that help build the 3D experience that you get. Um, you have special glasses that you can use, an interactive pen that let you dissect, um, take apart, build, and 3D model things. Um, using the machine and then what's really cool in the future you will be able to plug it into a 3D printer and anything you make on there you can just hit file print and you'll get a 3D model of it right next to you which I think would be really cool. Awesome. Sounds good.